Hi guys, hope you are having a great one. Um, continuing the journey with eucalyptus and this one that was blown over, um, well, the top of it snapped is eucalyptus nicolii and commonly known as narrow-leafed peppermint. And if I get closer, I'm sorry, I'm just filming, filming on my phone so I'm not the best at camera work and also I don't really know how to edit videos. Um, but you can see the leaf are relatively narrow and they smell, they have a hint of peppermint to it so that's why it's named narrow leafed peppermint and the bark here is you know the quote unquote the peppermint kind of bark meaning they're not as smooth as the for example the selegna over there um, they are stringy and they are persistent they do shed their bark as well but not as much uh, nowhere near as much and I guess this one of this is a good example um, that when people sometimes talk about eucalyptus not very easily in high wind I think it's really all depend on the species um, so as you can see here this or even individual this Nicolii snapped um, but that one over there with the ivy on them was fine um, so you know take that myth with with a grain of salt and technically all trees will kind of naturally shed some of the lower branches um, in in cases of drought or stress or just they just want to you know focus all their all their energy growing up um, as a tree to compete for more resources um, so all trees do that Personally, eucalyptus do get a bad name for it, but there is a lot of diversity in eucalyptus and I think that's just um, the myth is a little bit over amplified, exaggerated in my own opinion. Um, but also of course I always talk to Arborist. Um, and I guess this is also an opportunity to talk about the diversity in eucalyptus. So for example, that's a saligna over there. Um, and this one and the one in the back with the nice white trunk um, and if you move over there you can see a, a rough bark one I think in here sorry the sun is blinding me I can't really see my screen very well it's an old phone um, I'm not sure of the species I have to get closer um, but also if I show you some of the, of the other um, individuals at this park you can see um, well here it is probably I uh, can't see the leaves too well but they say there is a hybrid between punctata which is gray gum and and um, rudis which is a red gum um, so that might be I see the bark looks like a punctata which is a gray gum getting the gets the name because the bark looks gray and orange especially the age I have a better example down the road I can show you in a little bit um, hopefully this video doesn't take too long and this is another one here um, this one yeah it has this nice grayish peppery uh, not peppery sorry coppery bark this one is a eucalyptus cylindro carpa I believe it's referring to the shape of the fruit but again I could be wrong um, this is not the most common one. I've only seen a few individuals here in the Bay Area. Uh, it's quite nice, honestly. Um, so, moving forward, there is a box. That's a box. I think it's about Rini Anna, but don't call me on that. I'm not really good with boxes. Um, oh, boxes are just this kind of eucalyptus that have, you know, those um, small flaky bark as opposed to the gums with the smooth ones and again the Kitsoniana we saw earlier there and of course also over here and the Soligna and uh, shoot I forgot what was what was I gonna show you guys oh the Punctata yes um, so if you see in like directly in front of me the taller one I don't know if the lighting is cooperating but Oh, I have a better one here. Um, just one second. Yeah, 
you see the trunk um, the bark is not as white as for example the so ligna over there and that's typical of this gray gum characteristic of this nice powerful trunk i think they're really great trees um so yeah oh yeah and that is the gray gum over there too and that one over there i need to get closer to look at the fruits and the leaves to be a hundred percent sure because people say they're hybrids i'm not entirely positive um, but yeah, here's the diversity in Eucalypts just even within this very small park and again, you see this weeping one, that's the Eucalypt the one in the back, that's the Eucalyptus spatulata um, the one in the back, I think that was the red gum but I'm, I need to get closer, I forgot and the one back there, that's another Eucalyptus there's huge diversity in them and uh, this video is becoming way too long <laughs> because there's a lot of diversity in them um, so do not I, I, I would encourage not to discriminate against all of them um, because some bigger ones like the Tasmanian blue gum the Eucalypse globulus we saw a lot they're probably the most important timber species out overseas outside of Australia um, that that tree got a lot of other Eucalypts it's it's bad name you know dropping branches being messy and all and being water hungry um, but yeah there's some quite a few other great choices out there so definitely give them a chance and this one is a eucalyptus manifora has also very nice white trunk um, but a little bit spotted at times uh, let me just get closer so you can see yeah and this one has finer leaves as well it just it's just wonderful all right um oh and um moving on sorry this video is becoming way too long and i'm so sorry for that and this is um i think a eucalyptus pro pinqua um it's in the same gray gum group as you can see the trunk is kind of have the gray gum color to it uh, but I believe the fruits are smaller than punctata but um, again they're too high I wish I could uh, I carried something where I can find maybe something on the ground let's see hmm. where's this one coming from yeah my camera wouldn't focus I'm so sorry <laughs> Um, yeah, I need to get a better camera at some point but my point is that there's a lot of diversity in them and they're truly a wonderful group of plants that uh, we all should just know more about again my personal opinion because I love them and um, thank you for watching and see you next time